Natural capital is something I really got excited about when I first joined the Nature Conservancy. Um, you can think of natural capital, another phrase you can use is green infrastructure in contrast to gray infrastructure. So gray infrastructure is, of course, uh, what you expect. It's things that people build to provide services to society. Green infrastructure is when nature can do the same kind of thing. So um, an example. So in the Gulf, after Katrina, people said, boy, we need more protection from sea level rise and storms. What should we do? And so the first solution to arise in the gray infrastructure world was from engineers. And they said, in many circumstances, you need to build seawalls man-made seawalls. These seawalls will provide protection from storms and sea level rise. And they do do that. The Nature Conservancy, though, uh, entered the fray and we said, we've got, we think we have a better idea. You can build oyster reefs. Oyster reefs also provide very robust protection from sea level rise and storms. So we said, let's do a comparison. So to build a seawall or to build an oyster reef in the Gulf for one mile cost about $1 million. The cost is about the same. So now let's compare how they perform. How do they do providing protection from storms and sea level rise? It's about a tie. Okay, how about the life of the asset? Well, the seawall, it'll last a long time, but like everything humankind builds, it will eventually deteriorate and depreciate and need to be replaced. An oyster reef, on the other hand, as long as we take good care of it, will grow and get stronger over time. It will rise in value. And then after that, the comparison's not even close. The, sea, the, the oyster reef wins by a mile. It's an oyster reef. It's home and habitat for oysters. That helps the local economy. By the way, those oysters clean the water. And ultimately, the shells crumble, and the crum crumbled shells flow to the beach and nourish the beach. It's also habitat for fish. Again, good for the local economy, good for the ecosystems. It's habitat for birds, good for tourism. The whole thing works for tourism. So it's one of these win-win-win things. So at TNC, what we've tried to do is help governments and business understand that there are many instances where green infrastructure is simply a better deal than gray infrastructure. And as long as that's the case, that's what we ought to invest in.